morning, good morning, everyone. So um, thank you for being here. So literally, we are really at the morning session, 12.56 a.m. since everyone's obviously. So hi uh, from wherever you guys are. Um, hi. So, hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. First, I'd like to take a roll call. First, um, uh, yes. Tahia? Yes. Vicky? Yes. Azika? Yes. Ayman? Yes. All right, so everyone's here. Okay, great. Um, so, okay, the objective of today's meeting is to follow up regarding the uh, our previous discussion uh, on how to improve our safety and um, companies' environment in terms of uh, sustainability friendly and also eco friendly. So, uh, but before we start, I'd like to go to the last meetings we made. Uh, Tahia, can you please like summarize it? Yeah, sure. Okay, so for the last meetings we made, uh, we discussed about the ideas for the eco friendly, disabled friendly, and the security system. And uh, we were asked to follow up on the finance needed for the development of each category. For example, the secure development installation of the security system, uh, and then desk and floor plans for training programs and building of the ramp. And that's that's it for the last minute. All right, thank you, Tahia. Is there any correction to be made? I agree. <laughs> Can I have uh, someone to second Hussein's motion? I second that. All right, thank you. So, okay, um, I believe everyone has received uh, the agenda of today's meeting. But before we start, um, I will, like, Hussein, can you, like, record this uh, meeting so that uh, there's a minute so sure. that we can submit? All right, thank you. So the video will be recorded. All right, going through the um, agenda first, we will be getting updates from uh, finance, finance, which is Hazika, and then followed by Ayman, safety officer, and then followed by Hussein, uh, public, from the public relations side, and then from Vicky, and also followed by uh, Tahia. All right, so um, Hazika, I will leave the floor to you. Uh, okay, so for today, I will present to all of you uh, the analysis of our financial manage, uh, performance. So we will start. Uh, we will start with the revenue first. So as we know, the our revenue was increasing seventy percent compared to the last year with approximately uh, fifteen billion ringgit Malaysia, and we managed to increase ourselves of our techno product as we are able to penetrate outside market like the UK, Australia and Canada. And we can confirm that our revenue will grow sustainably and keep grow growing because of this techno product penetrate all over the world, especially China and Japan, as this country was good in technology. So next, uh, I will present about the profit, which is uh, the margin of the profitability. So we slightly increased thirty percent of our profit as our company can generate hundred ringgit for every product. So these fees are enough to return on capital work and can give the profit back to our stakeholder. And lastly, I will present the break even point of our company, and we approximately had fifty thousand ringgit for our BEP. So after analyze all this report and include prevents dividend and tax. I already uh, divide 40% of our budget to every department to continue our upcoming project. So that's all for me. Any question regarding to the, my uh, report? Uh, so no. basically, we're trying to say that each of us are going to get like 40%, is it? Like equally? Ah, uh, yeah. Because we have a good revenue and profit. All right. Um, can I, may I know, like roughly, for the forty percent is around how many thousand? Uh, yeah. mm, forty thousand from fifty billion. The total of our VEP. So around two hundred thousand. 
200,000. Per department. I get it. Ah, yeah. Is this project. enough to all of you? I think this uh Yeah, sure it is enough. I hope so. <laughs> okay, that's okay. okay. Um let's move on to the next uh presentation. Uh Mr. Ayman. Yes. Okay, so um, and thank you, uh Kina, for chairperson. So um during the last meeting we have I already informed you guys about the installation of modern SS system and the second one is about the security culture. So let's go to the my, to my first point first. So regarding the installation of the modern SS control system, well, it's uh, nearly uh, two weeks from the last implementation. So this is, I guess it's, uh, it can be consider, uh, considered as a huge success, as we can see, it helps a lot with the controlling access to offices, factories, the facilities, and production area. Plus, I believe it enables us to monitor our workplace easily by using the system. In addition, I believe it also can keep track of who's coming in and who's going out. So, logging every entry of the person uh, individually. So um, we know what time they arrive and leave, especially our work company. Have multiple shifts with large group of employees coming and going out at odd hours. So I guess we could rely on this system without worrying much about our safety anymore. So that's like uh, about the, my first point. Moving on, the next point is about the security culture. So as what I've informed before, it is an essential component of the building security culture as you know it comprises of sets of values shared by everyone in our company so it brings a lot of benefits uh, those benefits that we already claim like our employees are now are more likely to engage with us and take responsibility for security issues uh, and excuse me i man Sorry for yeah. interrupting, but we don't have your video anymore. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Okay. Yes. You have me now. All right. Yes. Sorry. It's okay. okay. Uh, uh, continue. Uh, you can see our level of compliance with protective security measures increase, as well as the employees are more likely to report behavior and activities of concern. And that's one more thing that I would like to share with you guys. It's about our we are getting feedback from our employees. Um, it is about a positive feedback from employees, not a negative one. So some of the positive feedback that I get, they say that our company, this is a great place to learn and grow. Everyone here cares about each other and this is a fun place to work. And as for me, this is such a wonderful feeling of being appreciated when people actually like what we have done for them. Yeah, so that's it. That's all for me. Impressive. What do you guys think? Yeah, impressive. Alright. Um, there are there any questions for Ayman? Uh, from my side, no. Alright. So, uh, Ayman, uh, may I know how much uh, have you spent for the project? Robert, well, actually, um, for my, uh, I guess it's around 10,000 for the implementation of the um, access control system. But for the um, uh, safety culture, we just incorporate in, we, we, you know, we, yeah. Oh, all right. Wait to hear. Did we have like more, then we can maybe later we can suggest things that are more beneficial in terms of safety. Occupational health with the budget yeah. that you have presented now. All right, so um, moving on, if there's nothing uh, for Ayman, um, next, uh, Christine, uh, can you update us on your reply? All right, sure. Uh, thank you. I first of all, I wanted to thank you to uh, uh, Ayman and Hezika for the presentation just now. Uh, well, uh, regarding my uh what does it call uh, 
the, the, the job that it was uh, under my department uh, regarding making video. Uh, so far, I wanted to uh, tell you guys some good news. We are about to finish up the video. And then, uh, actually, there is uh, just a, a small part that we need to add. And because uh, since the ramp uh, is not finished, so I haven't uh, actually, I, I was not able to put that part inside the video. Uh, in order to show that we are uh, disabled friendly. Uh, but uh, regarding other matter, I have done some interviews and I have also go uh, through some of our regular customer and uh, try to interview them and uh, take uh, some good feedback uh, from them uh, in order to put in, in the video. So overall, the video is uh, very impressive, I can say. Uh, later on, uh, once I have uh, done with the draft, I will send you all so that you can give me the final comment in order to uh, finish yeah, finishing the video. Uh, how much you spend for the video and the video of the RAM? Uh, well, uh, regarding making the video, actually we, we uh, had to buy a video editing software which cost us about 400 ringgit uh, because the previous one we were uh, we couldn't uh, use it anymore. It was not uh, professional enough. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, regarding the other material, uh, the camera, uh, it was uh, our company camera. We didn't spend anything on it. So, so far it was about, about 400 that for the software, 400 ringgit. Um, yeah, later on when you finish the draft, then maybe you can send us through email. Sure. For everyone to get your feedback. So sure. that how, like, we can decide if there's need for improvement. Of course. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Uh, next, um, Vicky, will you please update us on your side? Yes. Uh, uh, during the last two weeks, I uh, have been allocated two jobs on me, uh, which is uh, about building the ramp, and one more is the reorganizing the chair. Then for building the ramp, uh, we have to choose between two companies, which is the Kamuda Kong construction and then the Kim construction and then finally we choose uh, uh, Kamuda construction because it's offer like 15,000 but we'll fi uh, finish in two months uh, but for if we choose for the Kim uh, they will be like uh, finish for uh, three months uh, which is like uh, many uh, may cause any many inconvenient to us so we choose for the Kamuda construction which is uh, 15,000 and then um, um, uh, we hope that uh, the construction is uh, uh, able to work smoothly so that uh, can finish faster and then uh, moving for the next point which is the reorganizing of the chair uh, in within the this two weeks uh, we is uh, from the good news that uh, we uh, we able to have the co co collaborate from from other department that we reorganize the chair together and then we able to uh, reorganize all the furniture and then now there is a broad space of uh, to allow uh, the disabled to move around especially the ones with the wheelchair so uh, uh, we also get some feedback from them. Uh, they are satisfied with this condition and then uh, uh, appreciate for what we are doing. Yeah, and then that's all. So, um, I have to ask uh, regarding yeah. the installation of units for safety department in the technical how about the uh, maintenance of the uh, excuse me, can you, know, uh, can you talk a bit louder because I, I cannot really hear you. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, so uh, regarding the installation of uh, Iman safety system, 
the maintenance of that system, uh, you guys will maintain or we will need uh, the, the service provider to maintain it. Oh, okay, uh, for this, uh, our maintaining uh, maintenance staff will keep on track on the condition of the uh, the safety system of the door. Yeah. So we will check for every two weeks to make uh, to make sure that is uh work uh function is function properly. All right, great. So yeah, is there any question for Vicky? On the call? Okay, uh, thank you, Vicky, for the job well done. Moving on, um, Tahia, will you present us on? Yeah, sure. Um, so last week, uh, in the last meeting, I was um, I presented about the eco friendly. What are the steps that we have to take? So first of all, the step was to uh, buy floor plans and the dress plans which will increase, improve the airflow. And just like Anna suggested that we have to use the spider plant. So I've contact with a, a nearby um, nursery in Putrajaya. So they say that they can, the total estimated cost will be around 12,000. But then we, I try to negotiate with them and they say that if we uh, want to get a discount, maybe we have to do a contract with them, like sign a contract with them for the next three years so that they will give, I mean, for that they can give us a good discount, like 15 percent maybe. Yeah. For the, so that's for the plans part and for the training program which we uh, will do for each department like security system or uh, for the disabled friendly uh, or for the infrastructure. So for that, uh, we are estimating that the cost will be around 20000 so that we can train the staffs uh, firstly so what they have to do how they have to do with the security or how they have to maintain the security and also how they are supposed to uh, help with the uh, like how to use the ramp for example so yeah that for that i will give the training i will arrange the training program for the staff yes that's it for me Uh, sorry, Kina, we cannot really hear you. Yeah, no, we can't hear you. Is there any question for Tahia? No. 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 All right. So I guess, yeah, I guess uh, this is uh, the end of our meeting, of our follow-up meeting. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you all for the job well done. And um, because every update we are getting is very positive, so I hope we keep on uh, this spirit. And then, um, yeah, if there is nothing um, else, is there any other issue to discuss? Is there any other issue? No? No. no. Alright, so uh, we will end this meeting here. Thank you for your time. Uh, I know you guys are very busy. Um, <laughs> so. Yeah, let's have our good night sleep. Um, thank you, everyone. Uh, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Sure.